Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you my print of the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movies. So stick around. So as you saw I have a Millennium Falcon here. It's a tiny model found on, on Thingiverse. Uh, I did this just a few minutes ago but I have a little bit bigger one I want to show you. So I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> Here it is. It is huge. <laughs> uh, it's, it's over 14 kilos. Uh, the, the top part, all the additional prints, and it's all painted in, in a gray color. And I was thinking about doing some weathering, but I haven't really decided on <laughs> what to do if I'm gonna have it clean or, or not clean this is the top part um, here's the, the bottom part um, this is all spray painted in, in grey um, this is everything is printed on the Prusa printers and um, here's the internals um, I sprayed some grey paint over the internals um, you can still see some blue and, and pink color in it. I have to probably use two or, or three more spray cans to cover everything. But it's extremely detailed, all the internal cavities of the spaceship and tubes and motors and, and whatnot. It's, <laughs> it's quite, quite a model. It's um, been taking me... Uh, like 14 kilos of, of PLA and you can see here from the close-ups it's extremely detailed and it's over 14 kilos of PLA out of those 14 is probably three or four kilos of supports that I have removed and it's quite quite number of time quite number of hours spent on, on that total print time was over 1500 hours so it's quite quite a task. I printed everything on my Prusa printers in 0 0.15 millimeter resolution. So all the parts are in extremely high detail. Everything is printed in Prusa Mint. Um, it had gray for most parts, and then blue and, and pink and black. <laughs> and as you can see, I still have to do some painting, but I want to show you this model in this video before I, I Paint all the internals. I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint all the internals like in their true colors. <laughs> it's gonna be an extreme uh, task to, to do, do that. But my plan for the for the model is to, to bring it to work and um, have it there for a while. And there's the top parts of those. Um, I printed all the like things to close it down but you clamp this together and, and put some external parts here to close it down but if I glue that in place I won't be able to show the internals um, I don't want to do that so <laughs> I'm gonna have it have it like this and this is just gonna be in, in that three-part shape <laughs> um, uh, maybe at some time I, I will hang it up here in the studio but I really don't have any space for it so I want to bring it to work and, and show everybody at work what I've been doing. It has taken me like uh, all fall <laughs> to do this but printing time wise is quite a task also to manage all of the parts and, and I glued everything together with 3D glue and I got a, a quite a big bottle and I emptied out and then I got a bigger bottle even <laughs> so maybe half a liter or more of 3D glue was used so it is uh, quite quite an effort and I did some live streams uh, while I was gluing things together and then I started to paint and, uh, and I was painting the parts out in the balcony and now it's winter time and it's been over uh, around freezing point uh, in temp so it was quite difficult to get the paint to dry and I was painting it outside bringing it in in the living room and then the paint fumes were coming out so it was a difficult situation uh, to do uh, at this time of year for me so i decided not to continue with the paint job at, at this point of time i might do something more later on and i might do it just next summer when i have uh, warmer weather 
to do it outside. I don't want to spray paint here in, inside <laughs> the living room. So that's not gonna be a good idea. But this is it. Um, I know a lot of people were watching the, the live streams. So this is the, the final part. It's enormous. <laughs> and you can see here behind me all the Star Wars spaceships and characters I've been doing and it's a series series of videos I've been doing with models from Gumbody and this model can be found uh, on the link in the video description on the Gumbody website um, and if you want to take a take a look it's the multiple items in their web store to to get the whole all the external parts and all the internal parts so it's, it's quite a lot of funds to buy and there's quite a lot of funds in in the filament and, and paint so it's not an inexpensive project to do it's uh, quite expensive actually <laughs> but it's been great fun i, I spent a good um, good amount of time cleaning up everything and, and gluing together and it's been good f fun for the last few months to to get this done with and i want to finish up with this video uh, i've been teasing it around a little bit <laughs> when i'm gonna do a, do the final video but uh, i might do some shorter video or, or tweets when i do more painting on the model i might do the internals like i said next summer maybe or, but i think i'll bring it like this to my workplace and have it there for a few months at least but this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Painting Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and ring that bell and let me know in the comments what you think of it. Think of this crazy project. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.